Okay, what I want to do now is draw some uh, circles on the screen and explain um, how a circle works in one CNC. Um, many people, I ask the question where a circle starts in one CNC. People tell me on the centre and various other things. Uh, it starts in the middle, starts at different 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, but just to explain how a, uh, a circle starts in one CNC, it starts at 3 o'clock and goes anti-clockwise so that would be 0, 90, 180, 270 then back to 0 again and they can also ask me um, why is that in 1CNC because 1CNC is geometry driven um, if I just go into layers and turn on the protractor and just view all just close that down you can see when you've got a protractor that a protractor starts at 0 90, 180, which is normal geometry and has been geometry for many many years, um, even in the tech tech drawing. So that's why one CN starts circle, one CNC starts a circle at three o'clock and goes anti-clockwise. Um, you'll also find on your machine is exactly the same. It's the way it works the geometry out for going round. So if we remember, a circle starts at three o'clock and goes anti-clockwise. Um, so it's 0, 90, 180 if I just uh, select that and just blank that out for the time being okay let's go onto the screen and let's create an arc uh, what I'm going to do is just create uh, some 10 mm radiuses start angle 0 so we know it's 3 o'clock end angle 360 which gives me a full circle select OK and I'll just sketch some on the screen there. If I press my right mouse button to cancel it and then go back into arc we'll change it to 25. Select OK, sketch, pick the first, second, third. Um, when I picked the arc by the way and decided on what size it is I could have put it in at coordinates or at the end of a point or at an arc center. If I want to put it at that arc center, this arc center I could put one there, one there. So there are different various ways you can create the arcs etc but what I've got here is I've got a, a, a profile shape my, my customer wants to make so therefore I would have to create lines tangential to these circles um, so if we go back home and go into line and we want to create a line tangent to the arc now one of the things we want to and see it doesn't need to understand what quadrant or what quarter you need to select the arc from. All you need to do in one CNC is select which side and we don't even need to touch the arc which in many others you do have to touch the arc. Um, so if I go from this side to that side, this side to this side, from here to that side, that side to this side, this side to that side. View all to view it on the screen and what I need to do then is I need to trim this up as a shape. So if I go back home trim let me trim one pick the entity to trim on what you want to keep well I want to keep this arc in the corner and I'm going to trim it back to this line here and let's see what happens as you can see in one CNC it's undone itself from three o'clock so I want to click this bit and keep it to here select from here to here it's undone itself from three o'clock from there to there I want to keep this from here to here it's undone itself from three o'clock from there to there click this from here to here we can see we've got a gap there um, it's undone itself from three o'clock um, this line isn't going to get any longer it's already tangential to the circle so all we need to do is trim that back to there keep this to here and that to there and then what you can see is we've, we've got a closed contour which we can check um, just select the contour give it some direction and you can see it's looking for the end we can actually press the end because we're going in that direction around here select the end or we can just on the keyboard press F3 and you can see it's all turned red uh, if there was any breaks in there it would have stopped and told us we had a, a, a problem in there let me just undo that again uh, notice I'm undoing to bring back the geometry uh, it's the principle I want you to understand how the circle works um, don't get me wrong, when we've got a pair of scissors, we can pick scissors and just get rid of what we don't want. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker, 
and that's because we understand but you can see you may have an error there can you see it let me just zoom into there it's not quite broke away let's just view all and all I need to do then is select by chaining pick that give it some direction select the end and you can see it's not gone any further than there so it would want us to zoom in and find out what the problem is so trim one I want to keep this to here select for chaining direction pick the end and you can see we've got a close contour so it's important we understand how circles are made uh, in one CNC and how they work um, hopefully I'll help you get started with the geometry side uh, uh, thank you for watching